Discover, connect, inspire. That's the mission over at the Robert R. Jones Library in Coal Valley. And this month, the calendar is packed with ways to do exactly that. Yeah, that's right. Kaylee Floyd is the Youth Services Coordinator at the library, and she joins us now. Kaylee, thanks so much for coming back. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. I love, we love coming here, and you guys make it a warm and inviting and, and <laughs> warm inviting place oh, to be. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. We, we appreciate the same that. Way yes. About you. Oh, yes. You. you always bring such a, a great display. Always oh, a yeah. lot so going many. on at yeah. the library. So a lot yes. of activities to do. But before we get into some of the activities later in the month, you've got activities that really you can do year round and yes. you're calling these the passive activities. Yes, passive programs. So it mostly started off in like our kids' room mm -hmm. uh, for passive programming, but we have a lot of teens and adults that also like doing those kinds of yeah. things oh, when they yeah. bring their kids. It's and so we decided to implement more passive programs programs for them. So if you notice over here on the end, this is actually our adult uh, Would You Rather. We've changed those out weekly. Oh, okay. And then in oh, this, I love that. Yeah, and then in this bucket here is an I'm Bored jar. So there's like different activities teens can pull to do, like learn origami, play board games, uh, read a magazine, make okay. an alien mask. What are you so, choosing, Morgan? I don't know. Oh, yes. Okay, so the Would You Rather is be invisible <laughs> for a day or teleport anywhere in the world. That's the one. I'm, no, going, yes, I'm going with that one, one too. Winning, for anywhere sure. in the world. <laughs> and then if I had to pick an activity, Ooh, let's see. Let's see what it would be. <laughs> Make a card. Make oh, that's a card. fun. Yeah, so you can get supplies from us at our front desk. Draw a treasure map. Ooh. My son would be into that. Oh, yes. Sure. Is, like, I just, the creativity is beyond <laughs> oh, yeah. me. I just absolutely love that. <laughs> Wouldn't think of it. Those are a couple of the uh, passive activities, yes. Yes. which are just super fun to get into. Um, we're going to talk, too, about some of the really creative um, activities that you guys have coming up on specific days. Yes. Um, so this is the Moss activity. Yes, that's actually assuming. this week. <laughs> This is um, this Thursday, so there should be some spots still available. They're beautiful. But yeah, we have a couple different options. You can do, uh, most of them are wood pieces, okay. but a lot of it's kind of leftovers from other crafts, and then you get to use the moss and twinkle lights, and there's a, other figurines you can use. It's kind of open to whatever you want to make it. Mm -hmm. um, this one's kind of more like book inspired, yeah. but it doesn't have to be. It can be whatever you kind of would want to hang up at your own home or give to as a gift maybe. Yeah, these are really, yeah. really cool and creative. Like who, what is a good age group for this? Um, this one is actually for teens and adults. Okay. So awesome. yeah. And do you, you obviously provide all the materials does yes. it cost for people to do these activities no it does not it's all free everything all free. at our library to do is free that's amazing to yeah me. so um, we we also have um the plant swap coming up oh yeah um as well and what's uh, the plant swap that one is okay if you notice here we have some of our uh plants kind of from our library oh, pretty clippings and you can swap out with other nice display, patrons huh? yeah <laughs> other patrons um on different plants that you might uh like not have of your own and you just kind of swap it out and see what would interest you. What a cool yeah. idea yeah. and I do love how this is displayed. Oh, um, I know, it's so they're cute. They're going to try and get a shot of it. There <laughs> oh, it is. Yes. Yeah. This is so cute. Yeah. So, you know what? Text me later and tell me where you got that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. I want that for my house. Yeah, yes. nice. um, another creative crafters event is the Diamond Bookmarks yes. and you brought some examples with yes. you here these today. These have been so fun. Oh, uh, yeah. We've all loved having a turn of making these. Um, they don't take too long. They look like they would take Forever I was to gonna make. say it looks pretty, but it's involved. it's so fun. It's like kind of like color by number oh. um, is the the way of doing it. But yeah, and then right here we have an example of it on an actual book, so it won't never, damage your pages. I've never seen a bookmark like no. that. Yeah, and, and they're they're beautiful. Yes. So you just have a crafters class where people can make these for right. Themselves. Yeah, we have a couple different examples that we'll have set out for them to choose from based on colors and what they prefer. That is super fun. Yeah. And also over on your end, you've got yes. the tiny canvas art. And I feel like the whole tiny, uh, it's, it's <laughs> just kind of a phenomenon. People love the tiny cooking videos. Now yeah, we've got tiny, <laughs> tiny canvas art. So I think it talk takes more the, about that. I think it takes the pressure off because yeah. like, sure. sometimes doing a whole canvas can <gasps> oh, be like, yeah. Overwhelming. I cannot do yeah. this. I am not an artist. I don't know how to do that. But oh, I see doing a it on a smaller scale <laughs> is more like less time consuming, more manageable. So some yeah, these are really good. Yeah, kind. actually yesterday um, with my Pokemon club, I did, we did some Pokemon uh, inspired that, canvases. Yeah. So yeah. This is cool. Look at so the There'll be dog. display um, in May for all of our patrons one. to see. Yes, the, the dog. That is so very cute. Cool. Impressive. Oh my gosh. It's a, the, this is actually a technique you can do. It's just like flipping the page over of whatever animal it is. You shade the back, okay. flip it over, and then you can trace it and it makes oh. an outline. It seems so complicated. Yeah, but no wonder they look so great. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. 
And then finally, we should just mention this before we run out of time, you have your seed library yeah. as well. These are popular. Yes. And these oh, are yes. super yeah. popular. They're booming. Um, this is our second year doing it. Um, right now we have more of like the veggies okay. and um, fruits and stuff, but we are hoping to revamp our flower selection real soon, so definitely stop in. You can pick up five packets per visit. Oh, wow. And then okay. the idea is that at the end of the season, hopefully you'll return um, any seeds that you might have fallen so we can replenish that way too. I love that. What a great idea. Yeah. And it's almost that time, but not that, you know, time yet. Mother's oh, Day. Yeah. So, Mother's Day, Mother's um, Day. You still have, you know, plenty of time to get that. Okay, here is the info. Robert R. Jones Public Library located there in Coal Valley. We've got the address the phone number on your screen. Please follow them on Facebook. Uh, they post a lot on there. Really cool ideas. Thank you so much, yeah, Kay Kaylee. Thanks we really for having me. It. Thank you.